Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to format your data with banded rows and or columns. Now I'm going to show you two different methods you can use. The first method is really, really quick and easy. The second method uses conditional formatting. So with the first method, all you need to do is click somewhere in your data and then on the home tab of your ribbon, go up to this button here, format as table. That will give you a gallery of table designs and all you need to do is click one of the tables that show banded rows. Just click on OK here and it gives you those banded rows. Now if you wanted banded columns rather than banded rows, then what you'll see up here on the table design tab are the options for banded rows and banded columns. So if I untick banded rows and then tick banded columns, you can see I now have banded columns instead. Now, of course, I could have banded columns and banded rows. Okay, that's the first method. Now, if you don't want to use Excel tables for whatever reason, then you can instead use conditional formatting. Now, the conditional formatting is going to be based on a formula. And what I'm going to do is write that formula in the sheet so you can see how it works. Now, when you're writing a formula for conditional formatting, it has to be a logical test. In other words, it has to return a true or false result. Now, the first part of the formula uses a function called row. So, for example, if I now select A2, the first cell containing data in my table, close the bracket and then press Enter, you can see it returns the row number for that cell. If I copied this down, you can see it continues to return the row number for the cells within my data. Now what I'm going to do is evaluate whether these row numbers are odd numbers. Now to do that, I can use a function called isOdd, open bracket. So the row function is going to be nested within the isOdd function. So I need another close bracket at the end. And if I press enter, you can see I get my trues and my falses. False if it's an even number, true if it's an odd number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that formula, copy it, press enter, and then I'm going to select all of the rows that I want to apply this conditional formatting to. Now to do that, I can just select the first row and then use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift Down Arrow Key. That will select down to the bottom of your data. You can use Control Backspace to get you back to the top of the data or back to the active cell. The active cell is the one that doesn't have the gray background. Now to apply the conditional formatting on the home tab of your ribbon, go to the conditional formatting button and then go down to new rule. Select this option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Then in this box here where it says format values where this formula is true, paste in your formula. Now we need to set a format if this formula returns a true result. So we click on the format button and then we use a format. So I'm going to have a gold background. Click on OK. If I then click on OK, you can see that all of the odd row numbers now have the formatting. Now, if you wanted the even row numbers to have the formatting rather than the odd row numbers, that's very easy to change. All you do is click somewhere in the data that you've already applied your conditional formatting to. Go back to the conditional formatting button, go to Manage Rules. Make sure that the correct conditional formatting is selected and then go to Edit Rule. Now, all you need to do is change is odd to is even. Then click on OK and then OK again. And you can see I now have the even row numbers formatted. Now you could also do this for columns. There is a function called column. So if I reference this first cell in my data, A2, I close the bracket and press enter. That tells me that that cell is in column one. And if I copy this across, it's giving me the column number for these cells. So what I can do is then say, does the column function return an odd number? and that will give me my trues and my falses. Now what I can do is I can take that formula, copy it, select my data again, go back to conditional formatting, go to new rule, 
and then use a formula to determine which cells to format. I paste my formula into this little box and I choose a format. Click on OK and I get the odd column numbers formatted. If I wanted the even column numbers formatted, just go back into my rule and edit it and change odd to even. Now I could combine both of these conditional formats so that I have banded rows and banded columns formatted. So to do that, I'd need to select all the data in this sheet that already has banded rows. I go to conditional formatting, manage rules, and I edit this rule. And I need to put the whole of this formula within the OR function, put a comma after the formula for rows, and then paste in the formula that I have for columns. Get rid of that equal sign. Close the bracket at the end for OR. And I click on OK and click on OK again. And you can see it's formatted every other row and every other column. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.